You know, dogs may be man's best friend, but we actually own more cats than dogs in the United States. Check out the latest numbers on pet ownership. More than 86 million cats compared to 78 million dogs. Wow, I didn't know that. And of course, where there are cats in our homes, there's cat litter. And for all of you cat lovers in the house, some answers to everything you always wanted to know about cat litter, but didn't know who to ask. We have on our show this morning, the man talking tough on kitty litter blues. Meet Dan Jaffe, president and CEO of the world's largest cat litter manufacturer, Oil Dry Corporation of America. Good morning. Christy, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, I own a dog, but I did have a cat way back when, and there's something about, I, I, must, I must admit, there's something that's great about cats, which is like they take care of business on their own. Well, the cool thing about cats, it's in their nature. Their genealogy traces back 10,000 years to the Middle East. So they're sand animals, they're very fastidious. So when you put down a litter box for a cat, it's like going home. <laughs> Thank you, mom, I'm home. So when my husband goes to the bathroom, he says, I'm home. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> now we have got some fun questions for all of you guys out there this morning. It's like a kitty quiz. So I'm going to give you three questions uh -oh. that I want you to try to answer for me, right? No math, though. No right? math, just okay. a little kitty quiz. Number one, how often should we totally dump and change our cat litter? Every day. No, no, that would be really good for business, but in reality, if your consumers are scooping out pretty regularly, it won't, maybe once a day, they only need to clean the litter box once a month. Okay, once, oh wow, that's it. Yeah. Okay, number two, here we go. Okay. Can multiple cats use <laughs> the same litter box? I'm gonna assume yes, because my husband and I share the same toilet. <laughs> well, it's a little different with cats. They're a little more fastidious than you and your husband, <laughs> I hate to tell you. The fact of the matter is you can do it, but we recommend separate boxes for the cats. Are you serious? They'll get into territorial marking and they'll start leaving you cat bombs in places you don't want to see them. Oh my gosh, and you don't want that. Okay, so a litter box per cat. Okay, question number three, ready? Okay. Last question. What does it mean when your cat refuses to do his business in his litter box and what can be done about that? Does that happen often? It can happen and if they're using a clay-based natural cat litter, like I said, it's in their nature to use it. So when they stop using it, it's usually a symptom of something more serious. It can be a urinary tract infection. Oh, UTI. It can be. It can be arthritis if they're having trouble getting into the box. Or if you have multiple cats, it can be that territorial marking thing going on. So you really, you might even want to see a vet if you start seeing rejection. Excellent. Okay, I'm learning something today. Now, something else I want to learn about is like, you know, what makes a good, you know, litter, litter product? Well, for a scoopable cat litter, number one is it's got to form a hard clump. So when you scoop, you get all <laughs> of the bad stuff out. You don't want to leave it behind. Trust this me. This is a lot of TMI this morning. Okay, right? go ahead. But this is everything you this wanted to know. Great. But we're afraid to ask. <laughs> so you got the clump strength, and then you want fast acting odor. You want something that can stay fresher longer. And finally, you want something that's not dusty. Okay, and that, I'm so glad you brought that up, because my best friend, she has a few cats, and I've helped her. And I've actually poured, you know, the, the, the product. Yeah. And I'm gagging. I'm like, <laughs> like all this dust is coming into my face. I hate that. Well, Christy, you clearly didn't use Cat's Pride Fresh and Light because we formulated a product for low dust, and I'd like to show you the difference between a national leading brand and what we have. So would you help me? Okay, let's go. So I'm you have Cat's Pride Fresh and Light, and I have a leading national brand. Okay. And we're going to pour them into these litter trays, and you'll see the difference. Oh, look at your dust coming up. See, I've got none. So you can see it's smoking out of there, and dust is an irritant. It irritates the cat. Wow, and my daughter's asthmatic, and I'm not kidding. It, it irritates the, the people as well. It can aggravate uh, allergies, like you said, and it causes something called tracking, which means it can get on your furniture and in your bed, and you, you just don't want to go there. Let me ask you something else, uh, and I'm assuming this can happen to a lot of ladies out there, and men for that matter, but when you go buy, you know, a cat litter, it's the weight is unbearable. I mean, just to lift it up is is a pain. Well, the demographics of the cat litter purchaser is a woman, and so we know women like to lift weights, but they like to do it at the club. Yeah. They don't want to do it as part of their weekly shop. So we formulated a litter that gives you all the performance of a heavy based clay litter, but the benefits of a lighter weight. Thing. Okay. So will you help me here too as okay. well? Gosh, I feel like the helper. I feel like Vanna White. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Cat litter users use it by volume, not weight. They don't weigh in five or 10 pounds on a, tr on a scale. Mm -hmm. They literally fill the two or three inches like we did over there. So you can see these two are filled to the same height. Same height. And they're not gonna weigh the same. And I'll show you, it's sort of the magic of Cat's Pride Fresh and Light. Try and lift this one, this is a leading national brand. 
No. Now that's a real product. They sell this no. on the stores in that size. No. Now just give Cat Sprite fresh and light. Oh, wow. It's a big difference. Dan. I'm going to show you how much different. So let's start with the leading national brand, and I'll do the lift, and if you could read it. A little bit more than 40 pounds. Yeah, 40 pounds. And now filled to the same height, same fills. You're going to fill the same number of trays with this. Okay. But let's see what it weighs. Less than 30. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. So it's up to 25% lighter with the same number of fills. It's a real benefit for your consumer. Now I've got no dust with yours and it weighs less. I love this. All right, any other new innovations going on? Believe it or not, we have scientists who wake up every morning trying to figure really? out better ways to make cat litter and they've come up with something even better for convenience and travel. This is the Cat's Pride Cat Kit. Oh, how cute is this? It's got the litter in it. You peel it away, you use it for a week, you throw it away. It's made from PET 100% recycled plastic, so it's real durable, but it's good for the environment because it's made from recycled plastic. And you just throw it away. And you just throw it away. You're the cat's meow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Actually, for having me. You know what I should say? Dan, you're the man. Oh. Thank you, sir, very much. Thank and you. to find out more about cat litter and eliminating the cat litter blues, visit catspride.com. I have learned so much today. I actually love this.